Alright, big girl. Oh, she's growling. It's this is Nala, a lion. She was once a family pet. They spayed her, and that caused metabolism problems, causing her obesity. A few months later, she became Black Pine Animal Sanctuary's first exotic pet rescue. That was 19 years ago. Our animals come from private homes, confiscations, abandonment. With the help of the Internet, getting a wild animal as a pet is pretty easy to do. It's said there are more tigers in captivity in the U.S. than there are in the wild in India. But exotic animals can have long lifespans and be expensive to keep healthy. A lot of times people fall for the cute little baby animal <laughs> that grows up to be much, much more than what they ever anticipated. He cares a lot about his animals and I think that they were his life. February 2010, the government took a Miami County man, circus elephant, tigers and lions. News Channel 15's story appears in the new documentary, The Elephant in the Living Room. I was happy to see that, that our local news made the report. Much of this film was based in Ohio. The movie's a tale of two men, one who tries to protect the public and the animals, and one who loves his lions like family and is struggling to keep them. Our preference would be that if people are going to have these animals, that they be properly informed, educated, and, and are capable. And that's just not been the case most of the time. Every year, Black Pine gets around 100 requests to take exotic animals. But they hope that with the awareness raised with this movie, the number of people who get them to start with will go down. Any opportunity we have to get word out to help further our mission and educate people we think is worthwhile. And now I'm very, very excited having seen the film to say that even if you don't care about the issue, it's a great film. So we're doubly excited now that it's actually coming to Fort Wayne.